Hello Architects and welcome back to another RPG Architect tutorial. My name is Bert and today we are going to be filling out our menu items a bit more and by that I mean we are going to be working on our equip menu. Ooh, look at this. I had built it ahead of time once again. You guys have seen me do enough UI stuff that, uh, that you didn't need to sit me watch through position all this once again. Um, but we're going to go through each individual element. We're going to go through the templated list. These two are the big things. There's some other there's some other things happening. And we will create a couple weapons, weapon types, assign them to characters, and show how you can equip and unequip people in your menu. All right, so. User interface type menu. Context is inventory. Just to go over these elements, once again we have the background, nothing special there. We have the two different headers, it's this one and this one. We have the label here that says equip, nothing special. We have these different panes, main BG, side BG, another side BG. Just to create some windows going on there, okay. Um, we have this character info, templated list. Um, this one I just copied over from the original menu that we built out and I repositioned the name and level and HP stats and then I went ahead and added um, some some of the other core stats of strength vitality magic blah 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 I gave them a label and then you put in statistics you use a template use a statistics bracket whatever that statistic value is to have it display there okay Pretty simple stuff, we have gone over that before. Um, and then the core of this menu is in these two templated lists. We have equipment slots, so the spots where you can equip things, where it's showing you know, what your weapon currently is, what your armor currently is. And then the templated list that shows your available equipment, okay? Oh, and then at the top here, I didn't go over, we have the equip menu where you can choose to equip, to optimize, or to remove. Uh, I haven't done anything with optimize yet. It's just there as a placeholder, but it's, it's pretty empty. But when we go to equip, you know, we're going to be jumping in here from the main menu. And there's some things we'll have to do here with the equip button. We will get to that after, after we go through this stuff. So when you get pushed to this menu, you're going to start off on this templated list. I think I have, yes, on loaded scripts, it's going to push focus. So push the focus to this list. Uh, and I have that in loaded scripts, so as soon as this menu is loaded, it pushes focus to this top one here, okay? Um, so, just a couple things. Obviously, I have the items listed here. I've got them positioned over here. You set up your cursor the way you want. You can set hide cursor when unfocused. I wonder why I don't have that on. I think that should be on, but we'll leave it like this for now. I think it's okay either way. Um, I think it's really a preference thing. Um, item details, use item sizing. Here, I'll just show. I mean, this is all pretty standard stuff. We've done this all before. You know, it's just positioning, getting things the way you want. The real magic of this list, we're going to go to the equip one first. I don't think there's anything on element focused or unfocused. So under equip, same thing, nothing under item focused or unfocused, but under execute, I do have two things. So one thing, I'm turning a switch on, and that switch is just called equip, okay? You can call it whatever, but I called it equip. So when you hit the equip button, it's turning a switch on saying we are in equip mode, okay? And then we're going to push focus to the equipment slots templated list. So we're pushing focus from here over to here. That's it, pretty simple. Um, and then off, same thing, except for without the equip switch. It just pushes focus to here. Now, originally when I was messing with this, I set up a equip and unequip switch, but that was a bit redundant because we're going to create a conditional branch. So an if and then, and it's just gonna be if equip is on, then when you execute, it equips an item. And if it's not on, when you select 
any of these slots, it just removes. So it's just kind of redundant. So you're, you're fine with just one switch. If you want to do two for visual clarity, you can, but not necessary. Okay, anyway, that's it for the equip menu. We're going to come over here to equip uh, equipment slots. And before I jump into these individual item components, let's look at what's going on over here. We do have it set to is visible because we want it to be visible from the start. We do have it set to loop. We do have a custom context selected. That custom context is equipment. And the template type is equipment slot. Uh, you have the spot where you set up your cursor. I did the same red cursor I've done on all my menu stuff. You know, pretty much the exact same positioning, blah, blah, blah. I hide cursor when unfocused because I want the cursor to basically move from here. And then when you select equip or, or off, it pops up over here. Okay, so when you're not on this uh, selection, it's, it's not visible. That's just how I have it. Now, for the components themselves, the top one we have here is called slot. That is the picture here on the left, these little blue, uh, these little colored boxes. These are going to show the weapon slots. So it's gonna be like a picture of a sword or a helmet or a chest piece or an arm or an accessory, right? To set this up, we're going to use template and you wanna type in slot icon below that, okay? Under image, not, not sprite. Set it to is visible, of course. Stretch the boundaries, unless you don't want to do that, I don't know. And under context, select is linked to UI context and the template type is equipment slot, okay? And then the rest of it is just positioning here, okay? Now, next in line, we have this little, little colon here that's just to show, again, I went for the Final Fantasy IX look, that's what they have. It is not a necessary thing, it's just cosmetic nothing special about it so uh next in line is another picture whoops I'm stretching my boundaries there let's get it back to this this is okay equip icon so this is going to be the icon with the equipment you are actually uh equipped with so uh, again under image use templates and you want to type in equipment icon is visible stretch the boundaries align it how you want color mask how you want hue shift how you want Context, is linked to UI context, yes, template type, equipment, okay? Pretty easy, pretty basic really, pretty standard. Uh, positioning, I didn't use relative positioning, I just typed in values to get it to looking like that. Easy peasy, and then last up here for our item components is equipment name, is visible, that's our font, that's our size. Use the template, equipment name, okay? Equipment name, align it how you want. Use word wrapping if you want, or drop shadow. These are all these are all subjective settings here. Uh, you do not need to set a UI context or anything like that. It's just this this should do it. Okay. All right, and then let's look really quick at the available equipment templated list, and then we will get into this, the execute scripts for these. So available equipment is visible, vertical orientation, enable looping, yes, hide when unfocused because it's going to be taking up the same window here just the way I have it set up and so we don't want it showing up over top of our existing equipment. So I have that selected. Use custom context, yes, custom context is available equipment, template type is equipment slot. Okay, then again, cursor setup, hide the cursor when unfocused, same reasoning as before, blah, blah, blah. Same thing, just positioning here, okay? And then for the components, very similar. Image, use template. Uh, you're gonna type an icon though, okay? Icon, is visible, stretched boundaries, aligned how you want, is linked to UI context, yes. Template type, equipment, and yep, and then just uh, positioning info, okay? Equipment name, is visible, that's our font. That's our font size, that's the color. Use template, just type in name, okay? Just name, not equipment name, not slot name, not my name, you can put my name if you want, that's fine, but only this will work, okay? And you do not have to have is linked to UI context selected, okay? All right, let's get into it. I already showed off how in the equip menu, you execute, you have a switch on, and you push focus to equipment slots. So let's look at the equipment slots templated list. We are gonna go to execute, so whenever you are on on any of these 
list items and you select execute. What we want to do is save the context unique ID. So we want to save which slot we are on. We're going to save it to a local variable, which I have set up called lo or, uh, selected slot. You can see here we have selected slot, selected item, selected hero. We're going to use selected slot. Next up, I'm going to set up a conditional. And if you remember from earlier, if local switch equip is on, then we're going to work our magic. So what you want is if equip is on, then we're going to toggle user interface element visibility. We're going to turn off equipment slots. So we are going to, if we select something, we are going to turn off this list visibility. We are going to set the user interface element context. We're going to set the context to available equip and we're going to use current context and then we're going to push focus to our available equip. Okay. It's pretty simple. I mean, that's, that's obviously there's more to it, but that's, that's the start. So we're turning off this list. We're uh, setting the context to available equip list and we're pushing focus to it. So before we get to the else, let's jump into our available equip uh, execute script. So come over here. First thing up, we are going to save context unique ID, going to go to our local. We are going to check selected item. Now thinking about it, I, I might not need this selected hero. This might be left over from another attempt, but th that's neither here nor there. We're gonna use selected item. Okay, then we're gonna come up here to inventory, equipment, equip hero. So now what we have is here's where you specify which hero you're equipping to, which slot you are equipping to, and what piece of equipment you are choosing. So two of these we can do right now. Uh, and then one we're gonna have to come, we're gonna have to do something more. So let's go to equipment slot. Let's do unique ID. Actually, let's set unique ID for everything. Okay. But we're gonna start with equipment slot. You're gonna choose local variable and you are going to uh, use selected slot. It's my first one, so I can leave it like that. Selected slot. Uh, on equipment, we're gonna choose our local variable. We're gonna do selected item, okay? And now you might be thinking, but Bert, so for hero, you would just do selected hero, right? Well, you could if you selected or you've, if you saved your hero unique ID somewhere within this menu. But since local variables don't persist across menus, I'm going to need to use a global variable. Now I, I've actually got a global variable set up called hero unique ID. So I can use this one, but I still need to save that hero unique ID before I get to this point, like in this stream of conscious or in this workflow, right? So where would I do that? Where would I, where would I save here unique ID back here on menu? This is how I'm going to do it. You go to menu. When you select menu item list, when you select equip, you're going to come over here to execute. So when you press the button on execute or the, uh, when you press okay on the equip button, what we want to do is we're going to change a switch. We can do a local one here. We're going to call it, uh, we're going to just call this, I can spell, equip menu. We're going to turn that on. And then we're going to push focus over to our character info. So it's going to push our focus over to this side, right? Apply that. I think that's all we need there. Okay. So now we are over here selecting which hero we want. Let's go to our character info and on execute. If local switch equip menu is on, then save context unique ID to global variable eight. So this is where it sends or it saves which character we are on. Okay. So now we have our character info and global variable number eight here, unique ID. And then after that, after you select a character, we're going to, uh, open menu, 
and we're gonna select our equip menu not too bad uh, and I believe I want to have include context selected yes okay so makes sense you're saving your hero ID in the menu here and if you have everything set up if you have if you do like the Mondoon did and he had all his menus built in one interface item you could use locals everywhere um, but since we're crossing UI stuff we're gonna use a global here but the point is you save the hero ID and now back over here in our equip menu when we execute on the available equipment templated list now this global variable will reference the character properly so we have the character referenced we have the equipment slot referenced and we have the equipment itself referenced okay and now after that just a couple more things really we've done quite a bit of the work already so we're going to reset the or no, I'm sorry, excuse me refresh the equipment slots refresh user interface element context of equipment slots and refresh user you know let's just copy this do the same thing refresh it for available equipment template list so just refresh the context for both these lists right and then we're going to pop focus so it pushes back to our previous or our equipment slots list okay and i think i think that that's everything for this available equipment and one more thing we can do here and under equipment slots is under execute under else we're going to set up our unequipment unequipping script so it's actually much easier. So just under inventory here, equipment, unequip hero, and then same thing. We're just gonna reference the hero unique ID, use that global variable number eight, and a unique ID of equipment slot. We're gonna use uh, the local variable, which was selected slot. Done, mostly done, okay. Um, let's do uh, another refresh element context. Looks like on my test I have it, I have this twice, so I must have messed that up a little bit, but I don't think it was bothering me. Yeah, on my test project I have it set up like this for some reason. Obviously that is not necessary, um, so I wonder if even this is necessary. I'm going to leave it in there, and we'll see. <laughs> you guys know how I do. Um, and I think the only other thing I didn't show here is on element focused, I have these um, toggle element uh, visibility basically when this element becomes refocused it turns this back on so after you equip an item this is what's turning uh, the equipment slots list back on and I refresh the equipment slots I do a lot of refreshing Very refreshing. I don't know how necessary it is for a lot of the a lot of the cases but it is necessary at times so that's most of the, the, the core of, of setting this up really however we still need to create some weapons and equipment to actually show off so first thing I want to show over here we're gonna create some equipment slots so let's start here weapon helm arm chest accessory I don't have anything checked. The only things I did here was I, you select the icon that you want to be associated. So whatever you set here, hit apply, whatever you set here is going to be the icon that pops up right here on this left column. So this is just signifying the slot itself. Does that make sense? So I'm going to use these values rather than have to find them and plug them all in. I'm just going to type in what I know 397 chest is 805 and accessory is 457 so after defining your equipment slots uh, you might jump over to equipment but first thing I'm gonna set up some more item types so right now I've only got recovery attack key items and equipment and actually what you'll want to do uh, let's let's just do 10 I'm actually learning as I'm going here. Let's set up like stat, no, let's do uh, guitar, staff, knuckle, big staff. <laughs> and then uh, we'll just do armor and ex accessory. Ex ex I can type accessory. So you'll set up, if you want to do like different weapon types for individual characters, I believe you'll set that those different types up here. 
I'm just going to have armor be a general thing. You could do heavy and light armor as two different item types. But uh, we will set up like this, and then we're going to come over here, and we're going to name them. So I'll do cheap guitar, I'll do nice guitar, I'll just, and then I'll just do staff, I'll do uh, dog, knuckle, and I'll do big, I'll, I'll do guppy staff. <laughs> and then let's just do uh, leather helm, leather plate, whatever, let's just do leather arm and uh, charm, whatever. So these are different weapon types and then some different armor types. So now we've come through, we're gonna set the type itself. I could have done this as I went, but we'll set this to guitar, also a guitar. Staff is a staff, dog knuckle is a knuckle, guppy staff is a big staff. All of these are armor and then uh, charm is gonna be an accessory. Okay, and then I'm just gonna roll through each of them. You can put in a description here if you want. You can set a specific icon. I guess I probably should for the uh, um, uh, f for that second icon list there. I don't think I have a guitar icon in here, so we're gonna do we'll do this axe. It's my axe, um, and I'll just use the same icon twice. Okay, so we have an icon, we have a name, we have everything with the right type. You can set cost here for uh, for the store. I'm not going to do that. It's fine. Um, and then we have equipment slots. So now we define. Okay, these are weapons. The nice guitar, the cheap guitar. These are weapons. Uh, staff. That's a weapon. Dog knuckle. That is a weapon. Guppy staff. That is a weapon. Uh, leather helmet. That is an. Uh, uh, Helm. Why couldn't I think of the word helm? I was looking at arm and my, my brain was going um, chest plate or leather plate is a chest. Arm is an arm and charm is an accessory. Okay. You can set up more details here if you like. The main thing I'm going to do here is I'm just, just for the guitars here, I'm going to show where over here on the right you set up some statistic changes. So uh, I don't know if I need to set the rank, but statistic. Uh, strength is going to be adjusted by let's just say 20 for the cheap guitar and then let's say uh, strength uh, let's do a hundred for the nice guitar and let's give them some bonus speed sure or vitality whatever this is just gonna display that it's actually working okay we'll give them 20 extra vitality okay so yeah, over here on the right, this is where you define how it affects their traits. Um, you could add also uh, abilities, I believe. Maybe not right here. Skill type. Add a skill. Oh, this is just adding skill type. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, you can you can really go wild with some of this stuff. Um, you can set tags, you can set uh, scripts when you equip or unequip it. And then down here, I believe you can have uh, uh, growth stats. So if the weapon needs to grow with you, that's really crazy actually. I'd, honestly, I didn't know this was here until just now. I'm looking at it I'm like, oh, that's, that's pretty wild. So anyway, yeah, you can have a lot going on here, but that's not what this is all about. We are about getting it equipped. So I think that's most of that. The last thing we need to do is come up here to characters. Let's go to Bertimus first. Down here we have equipment slots. You need to select the slots available and then give them give him the item types he needs. So guitar, armor, accessory. Okay, I'll go to Gab and give her, there we go, uh, all these item types. Give her staff, armor, accessory. Let's go to Gorlock, give him all these. Give him knuckle, armor, accessory. Let's go to Miss Guppy. Let's give her all these. And big staff, armor, accessory. Okay. Now, that's all we really need to do um, inside the database. The only other thing, let's start ourselves off with some equipment. I'm just going to come in down here to new game. We have initial inventory. I'm going to add in a bunch of spots here. Let's make them all equipment. 
I probably didn't need that many. We're gonna start with um, one cheap guitar, one nice guitar, one staff, one dog knuckle, one guppy staff, um, four leather helmets. Yeah, this column here is quantity, by the way. So I was talking to Locke. We're probably gonna add like a, a label at the top because I actually didn't realize, but this is quantity. Uh, we're gonna add in four leather plates. We're gonna add in th three leather arms, and we're gonna add in two charm. Two two charm. Uh, all right, I think I think we are good. So let's go ahead and run it and see if I let's see where I messed up this time. I hit the button. You can see over here. There's a little red arrow. I can scroll through my party members. Let's go to Bertimus. Okay, he's got nothing equipped right now. Uh, I should have showed too. We have in our items. Yep, we got all the items going. Okay, we're good. Let's go back to Bertimus. Equip. Let's go to. What we got here. We got our two guitar options. You'll see the strength will be affected. Cheap guitar. Strength is up 70, so that's that plus 20 uh, attack. Let's go to nice guitar. Strength went up to 150. Vitality got a boost, and now cheap guitar is back in our inventory. Okay, so that's good. We got leather helmet. We got leather armor. We got leather plate. We got a charm. Cool. Let's go to Miss Guppy. Go to staff. Leather helm. Leather armor. Leather plate. Charm. I said Miss Guppy, that was Gab. We got the dog knuckle, we got the leather helm, we got leather arm, we got leather plate, and we are out of charms. And let's go to the Guppy staff. Leather helm, we're out of those. We have another leather plate, so you can see, there we go. Cool. Her agility's not showing up. She must have none. I don't know. That's fine. Now let's see. If I go to off, there we go. And I'm doing off, and it's removing the equipment. So, yeah, very cool. We got it working. All right, I think that's going to do it for me today, y'all. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If, uh, if you did, be sure to leave a like and a subscribe and comment. Do the YouTube things. If you have any questions, please head over to our Discord or our forum and drop them there. You can drop them in the comments below too. It's just easier for us to answer in uh, Discord or the forum because we can you can share pictures and whatnot and show what you're doing much, much easier than here. But um, yeah, if you'd like to support this channel even further, then uh, uh, please consider becoming a member. You can click that join button below. Um, and if you're not able to join right now, no big deal. It's all good. All right, y'all. I think that's going to be it for me for right now. As always, you have been amazing. I have been Bert, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.